Alright guys, welcome back to my next video. So, did you actually know that when uh, Phoenix Airbus Block 2 has been released some time ago, that the cabin announcements were added, uh, basically included with that release? With the release of Block 2, uh, the actual announcements you would hear in Phoenix Airbus, whether it's 320, 319, 321, doesn't really matter. It's the default one, so you wouldn't have any specific airlines, right? But what if you're flying your favorite airlines, let's say British Airways, you would like to hear those specific British Airways announcements. In order to install it, I will leave all the link in descriptions, of course, as always. Uh, you have to visit this Discord uh, website, this Discord specific server, which has the custom announcements made by the various users. At the moment, since it was released, there is actually plenty to choose from. Again, all the links will be left in the description, so you can uh, just open them from there and then follow my tutorial. Please watch it closely if you are interested in this, because there is a step in the installation or basically uh, adding these announcements into community folder. And that specific step has to be made correctly, otherwise it won't work. Okay, I will, I will get back to it later on. Uh, let's just say that you want an Air France. Now, first thing first, obviously, if you want to use Air France, you should have and you need to actually have the actual livery installed from the Phoenix uh, livery manager. I believe you guys are aware if you own Phoenix, you know what I'm talking about. So you should have some kind of variation of Phoenix, uh, of the Air France airline installed. I mean the textures, right? The livery. So you have to click on it and then you would see some um, thread basically about that announcement right usually the person who created it uh, some description about it and you have to sometimes you have to scroll down a bit more all you're looking for for the zip file right afr is a icao code for the air france airlines so this is the file we want right so we have to basically click on it to download it it'll give you this message do not worry guys i have been using it for a long time so just download it, then once you download it, you can go to your downloads, right? So in my case, I can open it from here. And this is the file, right? So all you have to do, you have to unzip it first, okay? That's super important. So I'm using WinRAR for that, you can use whatever you want to. So I'm going to unzip that and we have this AFR folder. Now if I double click again, I double click on that and I can see AFR again. So I double click and I need to make sure that I'm seeing all these uh, WAV files or basically audio files, right? So what I'm trying to say, uh, there is a step which I'm going to show you next where we're going to copy this folder, right? To specific folder within your community folder. I'm using Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. So we're going to be copying that into that community folder. Now, uh, once you unzip that, even though it looks like it's prepared, AFR folder, you might have click copy and then paste it there where we need to paste it. But no, you always have to double click and make sure because most of the times with these uh, uh, zipped announcements file, there will be uh, another subfolder, in this case again, AFR. And if I click on this twice, then I get to see all the uh, audio files within that folder, which this is actually fine. This is perfect. So I need to actually copy this one. All right. So again, to make it clear, I downloaded this AFR. I have unzipped that into AFR, right? But I don't want to copy this whole folder because the path has to be exactly as it needs to be according the procedures and the guidance from the Phoenix website. So we have to double click and make sure that uh, there is or there is not additional folder. In this case, there is. It might happen that you would double click and you would already see all the audio files. In that case, you don't have to copy this one, but you would just copy this folder. I hope I'm being clear. Anyhow, I'm going to copy this folder AFR copy that okay and i'm going to go to my i have a shortcut of my community uh, folder for msfs 224 and in here what we need to do 
we have to uh, create a folder and then another subfolder within that folder okay and this is the step i have mentioned previously that it's super important to uh, not misspelled it if you misspell it uh, the phoenix aircraft won't be able to read that file because it wouldn't find that proper path okay now this is the folder guys i'm not gonna create it again but we need to create or you need to create folder and you need to call it fnx like phoenix announcements okay so if i would uh, rename this is how it's supposed to look like fnx announcements okay make sure that announcements especially this word is not misspelled if we actually look back to their website they would have this guidance here okay how to install it and uh, you see that you need to create this folder right fnx you can actually see it right here so you can copy it from here if you are worried to misspell it so this is the folder you need to create in your community folder of microsoft flight simulator 2024 once you create this folder there if i open it you need to create another subfolder which says just announcements okay again if we look on the phoenix website it does uh, it is mentioned there okay um so your community folder announcements folders which is this one and then announcements okay so this announcement is a subfolder within the phoenix announcements do you follow okay so i go back so again i have my community folder if i double click on this then i created this announcements which you have to do as well and if i double click on that i have those uh, uh, custom announcements for my aircrafts i have american airline and azul which i downloaded recently okay now that uh, remember that air france folder we have copied so we will paste it here now we have afr here again you can double check double click you will see all the audio files that's correct so this is done okay now obviously uh, i will open the phoenix uh, livery manager and we want to make sure if we have or not have air france so we can actually filter the liveries so I'm not entirely sure now, uh, as I haven't been flying uh, with Air France a long time. But let's just say we can keep it in all types and we can put France as country. And then there you go, Air France. Okay, I do have the A319 and let's say A320 is here, so I'm going to install one. It doesn't matter if it's 319, 321 or 320, you can have any, okay? So as long as you have some, at least one, it doesn't really matter which one. But you have to have at least one, I will tell you why. Okay, so now I know that I have this available in the sim if I want to. Now um, I will close this. And the next step, what we have to do, and this is also very important. So notice how it says AFR. Again, this should be already ICAO code of the airlines, which I believe it is AFR. But still, we need to double check something. Okay, the next step to verify, and this is also very important just to verify, guys, because we need to make sure that IFR code is located in the uh, CFG file. Okay, so as I downloaded my Air France from Livery Manager Phoenix, uh, I am going to look into this folder, Phoenix uh, aircraft 320 liveries. Okay, double click on that. You will see sim objects, double click and you will see airplanes double click now somewhere here i believe over here i have all my air fronts uh, with cfm engine variation okay and i can choose any it doesn't really matter so let's just look at this one then double click on that and you will see aircraft cfg file okay uh, you might know that this can be open let's say with notepad so i can click uh, with my right mouse button I can open with notepad. So what we have to do over here, what we have to do over here, we don't change, we don't necessarily need to change anything. 
what we need to verify is that in ICAO airline we can see the same code as we downloaded that uh, announcements package which I know that we actually did and we put the file called AFR in the announcements folder remember that AFR folder and this is how you know for sure that once you select Air France livery of Phoenix aircraft, in this case A320, in the sim, and uh, you will turn specific button on in the air airplane, and I will show you that in a minute, then it will be read correctly okay these uh, announcements will be triggered automatically because this matches that file added to community announcements folder phoenix announcements afr okay and the last thing i'm going to show you and this is also extremely important is what to do once you spawn at the airport you are in your phoenix aircraft and then you may say okay but i don't hear any announcement at all well there is a reason for that so i'm going to go in the game and uh, i just preloaded one aircraft quickly at uh, one of the airport i'm not gonna pay attention to anything else all i want to show you is let's just quickly start the batteries and the external power so something you need to turn on as soon as you do batteries and external power just not to forget it right that's why uh, it's good practice to do it straight away here in the mid panel you see that internal knob cabin is actually lit up by default as soon as i turn on the batteries and external power right you want to keep it on and then to hear those cabin announcements being triggered you need to make sure that this knob if i'm gonna switch to top view it's a PA knob right here, this one, okay? It needs to be also on. So all you have to do, click on it once, it'll be white, okay? That means it's on. You can also increase volume. Uh, I would say uh, three quarters is just good enough to hear it very clear. Sometimes you have to turn it down. Sometimes those files are a bit louder or you can even keep it in mid and you will still hear it. And I also do turn the cap. Uh, I don't know on the website it's not showing, but for some reason I do turn it on. I believe that this is uh, to hear in the cabin as well. But for you as pilot to hear it in the cockpit, you'd have to have this on. And basically anyways, to hear it at all. If you don't have this knob on, you wouldn't hear it at all. And then again, you have to, you can also adjust the volume of that, okay? So this is super important. If you do want to hear it and you follow this tutorial closely and you did in, uh, added those files correctly into specific folders, you will hear those custom announcements being triggered by itself during the whole flight from the moment you jump into cockpit all the way until you land it'll be triggered by itself you don't have to do nothing you don't have to open nothing you don't have to press play anywhere it'll be triggered by itself anyways guys this is it from me today that is all for this video if you are new to my channel consider that subscription it definitely helps me a lot and uh, all of these people who are already following my videos and my channel and are subscribed uh, i'd like to thank you very much for your support and uh, i'll see you next time in the next video all the best bye bye